In this episode, find out how our marketing team works together to maximize the exposure of our sellers' homes and get them the highest sales price possible. Discover how you can prevent financial loss by avoiding one of the biggest mistakes that buyers make when buying a new home. Learn about the future of smart home technology at CES and check out a bathtub that automatically fills to your desired depth and temperature. Finally, hear from our satisfied client, Marilyn, who shares why she would recommend the Rob Jensen Company to anyone looking to buy or sell a luxury home in Las Vegas. The Rob Jensen Company specializes in guard-gated luxury homes in Summerlin, Las Vegas, and Henderson. Rob Jensen has served as an expert guest commentator for numerous national broadcast networks and media outlets. Let's see what's happening today with Rob and the team. It's The Rob Jensen Show. If you're looking to upgrade or possibly downsize in 2019, one of these beautiful new listings might be the perfect new home for you. 4959 Spanish Heights Drive is a custom one-story estate located behind the guard gates of Spanish Hills. Built on over a third of an acre, the spacious home features a full, modern $331,000 remodel. Also located in Spanish Hills, we have 8701 Mesa Madera Drive. The former home of boxing legend Muhammad Ali, this private two-story estate showcases a resort-style backyard designed for hosting large parties. 8832 Cortile Drive is a two-story home in the guard-gated community of Cortabella. Highlights of this home include a $13,000 kitchen remodel, soaring ceilings in the dining room and living room, and a pool in the spacious backyard. Finally, 11540 Timber Mountain Avenue is a tastefully renovated one-story home located behind the West Guard Gate of Red Rock Country Club. Overlooking the 13th hole of the private mountain golf course, this home enjoys spectacular fairway and mountain views. Hi, I'm Rob with the Rob Jensen Real Estate Company. And today I'm here to share with you a little behind the scenes of what goes into an effective marketing campaign to sell luxury real estate. In episode 10, we already introduced you to our sales team. And in this episode, we're going to introduce you to our marketing team. You know, it's common when people sell luxury real estate that they just take photos, put the property in the MLS, which will upload to Zillow, and then sit back to um, you know, see what happens and see if the property sells. However, it's my philosophy that marketing done right is going to absolutely maximize our client's sales price. So therefore, we invest a tremendous amount of money and time and people into creating and crafting these beautiful marketing campaigns that reflect the quality of the properties that we're selling and the prestige of the neighborhoods that they're in. Then we take these marketing campaigns and craft targeted ads at specific demographics, both locally, nationally, and globally, to expose these properties to the right people ultimately getting them the highest amount of exposure to the greatest number of qualified people, which then results in a faster sale at the highest price possible. Apple wasn't the first to introduce the tablet or the portable MP3 player, but they had the right marketing message and the right amount of dollars targeted at the right people, and they had wild success selling a product that others couldn't sell very well before them. So marketing matters, and with no further ado, I'm excited to introduce you to our marketing team. Hi, I'm Marco Lilly, the media assistant for the Rob Jensen Company. Once we have a new listing, I reach out to the sellers to schedule a walkthrough. During a walkthrough, our team members see the home for the first time and start their individual marketing tasks. For each home, I complete the MLS notes for the multiple listing service. This is the foundational information we need to list a property. It is extremely important to be accurate with the MLS notes because potential buyers often conduct online searches on Zillow, Trulia, and many other sites that pull their information directly from the MLS. And we want our listings to appear correctly within their search results. To make sure the MLS notes are completely accurate, we have two other in-house team members audit the MLS draft. That way, when someone does an online search and your home meets these specified criteria, your home is sure to appear in their search results. I also do the scheduling with our photographer vendors. Composition, lighting, and HDR imaging play a big role in creating stunning images that these luxury properties deserve. 
At the Rob Jensen Company, we also provide 3D mapping to create a virtual tour that potential buyers can access online. The 3D mapping process also provides the floor plan diagrams we provide in our brochures. I designed the brochures to be an eye-catching and useful marketing tool, and they are given to everyone at our showings and at every open house. This way, potential buyers have a tangible reminder of the home with beautiful photos, descriptions, and important details. Potential buyers can share this brochure with their friends and family as they consider their options. And it can be extremely beneficial to have a brochure like this, especially after a buyer has seen three, four, and even sometimes more homes in one day. Hi, my name is Andy, and I write the copy for all of our listings. Pictures can only say so much. Some things can't be seen, so they need to be described in more detail. And a good listing description allows us to tell our buyers not only about the features of the home, but to help them imagine what it's like to live there. These descriptions appear in our brochures, in our newsletter, and online. Online, you can find them at robjensen.com, on national sites like Zillow and Trulia, as well as global sites worldwide. Parts of the home description are also used in our social media marketing and video scripts. When I'm getting ready to write a listing, first, I take a tour of the home and talk to the sellers about special features, what makes it unique, upgrades and renovations, and their favorite aspects of the home. We also discuss community amenities, and I go take a tour of the community myself to make sure that nothing gets missed. Presented in the right way, this information is really useful to buyers. Once the photos capture their attention, they're able to read more about the home, and they see it more like a story than just a simple list of features. This is a compelling marketing asset and an extra opportunity to get potential buyers through the door. Hi, I'm Max, and I create the video content at the Rob Jensen Company. Our property tour videos are designed to present your home to potential buyers in a beautiful, informational, and emotionally engaging way. To achieve this, the Rob Jensen Company has invested in 4K, cinema quality cameras and aerial drones, high-end LED lighting panels, and a stabilizing gimbal that allows me to create dynamic and fluid shots without distracting camera shake. It's my job to use these tools as a technician and an artist to capture the key living areas of your home at the most striking times of day. In each one of our property tour videos, one of our licensed agents introduces the home and emphasizes important information for the viewers. We also highlight the benefits of living in your community by showcasing amenities such as clubhouses, golf courses, fitness facilities, tennis courts, private parks, and perhaps most importantly, security. Our 70 terabyte workstation is where the final product is created. Choosing the right piece of music is essential since it sets the emotional tone, pace, rhythm, and energy of the video. The sequencing of the shots is important to tell a clear and beautiful story about the lifestyle your home affords. Then comes color correction, dialing in the audio mix, and finally, motion graphics. Once complete, the video is launched on MLS, robjensen.com, YouTube, and Facebook. When competing to capture the attention of potential buyers amidst a sea of digital content, professionally produced video is one of the most effective ways to separate your home's marketing from the rest of the pack. My name is Kyle Zabelny, and I run the marketing of the Rob Jensen Company. And if you want to sell your house for the highest price, in the least amount of time, then you need to have an effective marketing strategy to get the right buyers through your door. Our marketing team works together to make sure that your home has the biggest impact when it hits the market. Nowadays, buyers are spending more and more time on their mobile devices and on their tablets and computers when searching for homes. And one of the ways that we reach these buyers is through online marketing and paid advertising. On any given day, we'll be running paid ads on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram. We're promoting our clients' property videos, their open houses, and their photo galleries. We utilize a specific set of targeted demographics to promote your home to the most relevant group of potential buyers. And at the end of the day, exposure is the name of the game. When it comes to buying a brand new home, most buyers overlook the importance of a home inspection. 
Today, we find out why that's a big mistake. I recommend that all buyers get a home inspection, including new home buyers, because no one's really testing the house out. You'd be surprised maybe to, to learn of some of the things that we've found while doing new home inspections. But we are gonna run all the appliances and check them for proper temperature. We're not gonna bake a cake, but we are gonna run all of the heating equipment, the dishwasher, the microwave, the ovens. Does every drawer open and close? They have a nice soft close, but sometimes you'll close one and it'll bang up, it'll bang on the top of the cabinet. This thing is spurting out water, um, probably because that punch hasn't been knocked out. So I don't want that to go down inside the cabinet. I don't want anything to get wet down there. All garbage disposals are sold to work with or without a dishwasher. And if they are connected to a dishwasher, there's a little punch out that has to be knocked out. And that's where you connect the hose to it. If you forget to knock that out, the water has nowhere to go and it comes out up here. We'll put some blue tape on there for the builders to send this plumber in here and finish his business in there. So this is a, a FLIR infrared camera. It can only see temperatures. It cannot see the, the light that you and I see. If we take my hand and I'm gonna to touch the wall and I remove my hand, well, my hand has now left a bunch of heat. And why would a home inspector need such a camera? Well, we expect the water to be a certain temperature and we also would expect there to be no water in the walls. And if we found a big blue spot coming down this wall in the shape of a cone, we would suspect that there's water in the wall. It looks like we're all dry down here. Now we'll use this thing on every single sink. Well, in fact, we'll use it on the ceilings below any bathtubs or showers. I can't tell you how many times we found moisture in ceilings. So especially on a new build, we are not going on the roof. Um, but we still want to see the roof because the roof is an important part of the structure. And uh, quite often we do find a tile or two that's missing or slid out of position. And we want to just point that out and usually they just have it fixed immediately. The reason why you wouldn't want to do your own home inspection is, well, unless you're a trained home inspector, you, you might not know what to look for. You know, the beautiful thing about it is everything that we find, it's usually fixed very, very rapidly. Uh, one time I found uh, an entire attic devoid of insulation, not one single fiber of insulation. Um, and the builder didn't know it. And the city official had signed off, the energy auditor had signed off, it was posted right there in the garage that everything was cool, but the minute we popped our head up there, it was gone. And so you need somebody looking out for you when you're buying a home to put it through its paces and check it out prior to moving in. I think it just makes good business sense. Hi, I'm Monica, a realtor with the Rob Jensen Company. We're here to ensure that all of the items on our punch list after our final walkthrough were addressed by the builder. These were things like scratches on paint, on windows, anything of that nature. We already had an inspection, an actual formal inspection as well, but that inspector does not really look at those kinds of things. They look at the bones of the home, make sure that the systems are working. We come in and we make sure that everything else is as it should be, and we tagged every single thing that we needed the builder to address. Dirt to missing grout, cracked glass somewhere that we might have missed, that's what we look for. Hi, I'm Kathy with the Rob Jensen Company. I'm the contracts manager. I spent 10 years working for a local home builder. I was a contract and escrow manager. I also did QAs on homes that were under construction. And I finished my tenure with them as director of warranty service. So I am familiar with home builds, uh, what items require more attention than others, uh, the timeline involved to get them uh, taken care of, and which would be more inconvenient to have done once a homeowner moves into a home. Plenty of things can be wrong. Things do get missed. Even the best home builders have contractors that miss things. It happens. Um, it is under warranty. 
again, but the impact to having it corrected after you move in is greater than getting it before you move in. And it's well worth the investment and the time. As we can see, it's a smart move to get a home inspection on a new build. And if possible, you wanna get that home inspector out there earlier when the home's in framing so they can take a look at everything before the insulation and drywall have gone up. Then get the inspector back again for the final walkthrough. One last thing, there's gonna come a time most likely that you sell that brand new home. And I know that might be a long ways off, but you wanna make sure you've discovered all problems and have those fixed while your warranty is still active because the buyer for that home is going to get an inspection. And last thing you wanna do is be stuck paying for repairs that your builder would have been responsible for. It's a beautiful day in Las Vegas, and we are here at the Consumer Electronics Show. One of the big things that people are talking about these days is smart home technology. With so many products being marketed alongside Alexa, Google Home, Apple HomeKit, we're here to find out how these devices can work together to make your life easier and ultimately more enjoyable. We're gonna be talking with some of the leaders in the smart home space about innovation, practicality, and most importantly, security. All right, we are here today with Ace of Bosch, and we're going to learn more about their new connected appliances and the new suite of everything Internet of Things. Excellent. Home Connect is a Bosch app designed to connect home appliances to the Internet of Things. Alexa, make an espresso large, strong, start now. It's called Pi, it's projection and interaction. It makes your countertop interactive by projecting onto it. You get some inspiration, you can look up the recipes. So now, as this is telling you the recipes, does this work and coincide with the connected appliances? So that way, if you're saying, hey, I want to start cooking this spicy yep. steamed pork, and it knows that you're starting, the oven will preheat to the set temperature? That's, that's exactly the case. Yeah, from the recipe, it will preheat the oven to what is needed. How are these really helping people to make their lives easier and more enjoyable? It gives me more free time. I'm able to reclaim my time. And you're also able to take care of the resources that we have in this beautiful planet. And above all of that, you have the Bosch quality that all of us have come to expect. Ace, thank you again so much. You bet, you bet, thank you. This is the Kohler suite, right? So we have our Kohler Connect portfolio of products. We're showing smart home products. One of the cool new ones this year is our new Me 2.0 intelligent toilet. So it takes our intelligent toilet portfolio to the kind of the next level. So our intelligent toilet portfolio is all around comfort, cleanliness, and convenience for our consumers. So warm toilet seats, auto open, auto close. This new Me 2.0 has new dynamic lighting and new dynamic sound to build kind of a spa-like experience in your bathroom. And we've now also actually embedded Amazon Alexa. So you have all the functionality of Alexa built into your bathroom as well. You know, where, where can consumers see the real benefit from this? Like, real use case scenarios. Someone comes home from work, what are they going to do? What are they going to get from this? Right. So, right behind me is actually our perfect fill bathtub, which has a really great use case, if you ask me. So, what it does is it takes, lets the consumer preset how much water they want in the tub and then what temperature they want the tub. And they can be downstairs doing their dishes, hanging out with their kids, and start filling the bathtub. So, 20 minutes later, they walk into their bathroom, it's already ready for them. So, it's all about convenience and helping get back those couple moments of their life. Good stuff. Tell us a little bit about your company and what you guys do. Uh, we are a manufacturer of smart home gateways, starting from basic automation to high-end automation. It's interesting because you see a lot of the bigger name companies, who we won't mention, but they charge upwards of forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 for a system that's a home automation system. It's interesting to now see in this, this new space, all these different companies such as yourself coming up and offering these new different solutions to kind of compete with that. The legacy systems and the legacy companies which are working on those systems, they really uh, could not get into this market because the current world is completely different, I mean, of automation. Let's say $50,000 is to automate a, a, a 2,000 square meter home, whereas the current generation systems like B1 and all of that, 
can automate it literally for uh, you know one tenth of the price. Yeah, and give ten times or you know literally twenty times more feature functions. Well, listen, Sidar, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about you guys, the company, and what you guys are doing. Sure, we're a bit over 100 years old globally. We uh, here are really focusing on two main areas today. Uh, the biggest part is behind us, which is the connected home. One of the key areas to think about is use cases. So if you look at all the different types of homes, all the different types of families, all the different types of scenarios, there's different use cases that all of us might find interesting, right? In my sense, like my mom, she's getting older and she still wants to have her life and get out there. And then she's walking into a completely dark home. So what happens is, is she does that, but now by having the interoperability with the Alexas and Googles of the world, she just simply says, Alexa, turn on my kitchen light, and the house lights up for her. So she might have groceries in her hand and be able to get that done. The best part about it is, without taking away her privacy, I sometimes get a little alert on my phone saying that the light turned on. Right, so I now know that she's moving around her home and, and, and living well. To think about where the company has come from and to where it is today, where, where's the future for Legrand? With us, we're about open, interoperability, working with as many folks as we can. You might want a connected toaster. Well, if, if we kept our ecosystem tight and small, you'd have to buy a Legrand toaster. That doesn't exist. So it's about keeping as open as you can and letting interoperability happen and by doing, like, allowing the ecosystem just keep expanding around you. The other piece of that is understanding that the benefits of IoT are yet to come. So there's a tremendous future of what this is going to happen. So today we're talking about like automation, do this, do that, after this sensing. And there's that future piece of this that says these products have the ability to start making decisions for us and improving our lives without us having to preset each of those automated sequences. So it's really about a nod to the true promise of IoT, which is really around that like autonomy and that like AI, leveraging AI. What a day. It has been a great show. I've spoken to a lot of great people. And one of the biggest takeaways for me in terms of home automation and technology is that the best stuff is happening and it's working behind the scenes without you ever knowing it's there. There's less voice control, voice activation, and more of things just happening and learning. And that's where the future of home automation and home security is going. And I'm excited to see it. My name is Marilyn, and I used Rob Jensen and his team to sell my home in Red Rock Country Club. My daughter was getting ready to go to high school, and we wanted to move to the East Coast for her to go to a school there. So I had seen Rob's information both in the neighborhood and mailings, and then looked and saw how well he had done across um, the gated communities in the Summerlin area. And then when I called him, I think one of the things that actually immediately um, convinced me that he was the right person for me was that he actually answered the phone, came and uh, discussed the sale. Actually, I was trying to decide between whether I was going to rent the property or whether I was going to sell the property. He brought the research on both of those options and he also went through the pros and cons with me of what those would look like. And so for me, having someone that listens and says, okay, I'm gonna come to you having really done my homework and not trying to do a sales pitch, but just give you all of the facts and let you think about those and make a decision and not try to do the hard sell on what was best for him, but really what was best for me as the homeowner. We were really quite lucky because we got an offer within the first 48 hours that we ended up taking. Uh, and I think that was partially because of all the work that we had done around you know, the photography and how it was listed and then just preparing the house um, for the first weekend that it went on the market. Working with his team was absolutely fabulous. His team was there every step of the way to give me personal help and guidance and to make sure that everything went as smoothly as possible. I highly recommend anybody to use Rob and his team because they will do the right thing to help you and your family have a very successful uh, close and experience. 
Thank you for watching The Rob Jensen Show.